Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a Porsche Cayenne S, you need to remove it or replace valve cover gasket or valve cover. Stay with us, we'll explain guys how to do that. Everything from start to finish, this one will be for the driver side guys. Passenger side will be different video because it's very long video, very complicated. But I think you will be able to do it and save quite a bit of money. So before we start, let me tell you guys, if you need to buy any parts or tools, valve cover gasket, anything like that, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from something else every single car we get at the garage we make at least guys two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can so let's go ahead and show you what we have here guys this is the old gasket came out in pieces completely separated guys uh, it, it burned, it turned into plastic, it's devastating guys. It was leaking so bad that everything here on the side of the engine, spark plugs were full of engine oil, you can see turbo guys. So this is it, that's what it looks like without a valve cover, this is the new gasket installed. Stay with us, we'll show you guys how to do it. Hopefully the video will be helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video guys. Also if you have a Cayenne, check this channel out, this is our second channel, Electrical Car Repair Life. We are making all the videos about diagnostics, engine codes, airbag lights, relays, electrical components on that channel. Hopefully the video will be helpful, let's start on it now. So, let's show you guys okay, what we'll be doing next. Okay, right here, uh, you can see the intake hose is removed, guys. Okay, intake hose is removed. Uh, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. It takes only a few seconds to remove it, guys. Uh, but uh, actually, let me just... Uh, 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 put uh, put the link to the video that explains how to remove the intake holes because most of you probably know that and I don't want to waste your time. Uh, once you guys uh, are ready to remove the intake holes, if you don't know how to, check out the link to the video or it will be on our channel, you can find it as well, how to remove intake holes on uh, Porsche Cayenne. After that guys, okay, you need to remove your secondary air pumps. You have only three bolts, let's get one pump, I want to show you okay what it looks like uh, and the two that we'll be uh, using to actually remove the pump no that's not the two that we're using uh, the two for the pump is actually torx okay like this one you can see torx this is the pump itself you have to just remove three bolts remove the holes and just disconnect the wire after that guys okay what we'll need to do we'll need to actually go ahead and remove okay the amount for the uh, for the pump itself, it's with reverse torque socket. We'll put the links in the description of the video below where you can get them from. Uh, we got them pre loosened Very, very limited amount okay, of space there. But uh, check out what we did there, okay? We actually, let me just wiggle it so it can come loose. Okay, we use a socket with an extension to a small ratchet. Okay, and you can easily Guys, remove it that way. Okay, that bolt. And once it go, starts going, they usually go by hand. Those are not very, very tight bolts, usually, depending on if the engine was taken apart by somebody. In the past, maybe they got them super tight. Okay, one bolt. It's coming loose, okay, but it will stay there in the bracket. Then you have another one towards the back, okay, right there, and that hose is a little bit in the way, so we'll try to get it out. Okay, I think it will go by hand too, let me just move the hose. Perfect. We need to remove those brackets, otherwise it's not going to work out. Alright, now we have one more on top, okay, through that hole here, you can see, you can kind of like see where it's located. Okay, you can see it's right there, guys. that's where the hole is, so we're going to go ahead, remove that one now, with a bigger rat it is easier to reach. Careful not to drop any bolts too, because that will actually 
make everything a little bit longer if you guys don't know how to remove the okay that the side molding here everything for the engine uh, I'll put the link to the video in the description below as well because you can see how we have everything open we removed all the molding pieces okay the ones right here okay all that came out so we have more room open here okay we still have a few bolts holding somewhere okay let's see which one is which now okay this one is done only the one on the bottom oh no it came out it came out let's leave that hose that's the bracket okay and those are the three bolts that we just removed one two three you can see and that's the bracket for the okay for the secondary air pump that needs to come out okay perfect now here as you have four screws like that four bolts we removed all uh, three of them we just left one so we don't waste your time perfect so we have one two three four after that you grab that thing you pull it up you will have two rubber bushings okay let's explain where check it out one two perfect now guys that's where things get more complicated at uh, that point we will actually uh, need to guys okay need to remove the ignition coils next so now the ignition coils with uh, reverse torques guys okay we're going to go ahead okay let's see which one it is it's an exercise 12 i believe because this one was 10 yep so we 12 we'll go ahead and remove those okay we just have one more towards the back and we will need to disconnect the ignition coils that's where things get a little bit interesting because those things haven't been removed in a while so they will be stuck that's one thing guys they will be stuck push on the cable and release it same thing on this side push in first push out don't grab for the wires pull that cable out okay careful because here we have more cables this is for the variable timing and there is one going down that's another sensor so all that okay we need to see how we're going to remove all that guys so same thing and one more on this side okay now guys we need to remove the bolts for the ignition coils And we will need to pull them out. Those ignition coils will be, will be stuck. So we'll show you how we remove them without breaking them because they are expensive. If something happens, you need to buy parts. I'll put the link in the description, guys, where we get all the tools and parts for a really good price and very quick shipping as well. Okay, so position, guys. Okay, what do we do here with one finger, but don't don't go all the way to the wires. Grab it on the outside here. There is two lips okay and just wiggle it a little bit and the coils come out okay some of them will be really stuck some okay another one okay quite a bit of engine oil here guys that's a common problem okay for valve covers going back so valve cover gasket is going bad now let's get this one here perfect another one now we have this one here and full of engine oil all the way full check it out i'm surprised we don't have an engine miss guys because of that leaking valve cover gasket it's terrible so next one guys okay we have one wire coming to the variable timing solenoid then we have another one going to the ac compressor you need to remove your uh, uh front left fender liner okay 
and that thing it has quite a bit of screws guys okay about 13 screws i think so uh, let me let me just show you quick okay that's the fender liner once you get all the screws out it comes out you have so much visibility now and you need to come to the ac compressor okay and on the ac compressor it's underneath okay i'm trying to show you where it is kind of thing you need to go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness so we're going to disconnect that wire okay and we'll pull it out so we'll show you guys okay what to do after that so okay guys uh, i'm trying to okay let me see i'm trying to get the best view i can all right right here we have the wiring harness i got it pretty loose and what i did right here on top with the screwdriver i just pushed the thing out okay and we got the wire out so let's see okay what we are going to do now we need to reroute the wire get it out okay because that wire needs to come out don't forget to connect it later or your ac will not work after that perfect working on it there okay you can see it got loose there is one bracket right here okay you have one more here hold your leaks it's terrible great ah, now okay now let's see how we're going to we just need to get a little bit of slack so we'll get it out of this bracket here okay and what we're going to do we'll just pull it up okay like that we don't need to remove it all the way just leave it like that it's probably good like that we can come out on the bottom if we need to remember how it goes around that uh, power steering line okay and we're ready on this side to watch my fingers because there is quite a bit of engine oil always work with gloves guys okay you can see that's the ac compressor wire okay right there these hoses how we disconnect those we pretty loosen them you squish on both sides like push them in first squish on both sides and then once you release the teeth here and here you pull it out the same thing applies to this one here get it out of the bracket open it with the screwdriver one on the other side okay and we can get this one out next few injectors will need to be disconnected you press that metal clip in and you pull it out okay let me explain now you press this one in you, you pull the injector wiring harness out it needs to come out quite a bit of work guys okay quite a bit of work for those valve covers you wonder why it's expensive that's why so okay this one no okay let me see because we're gonna break it if we if we're not careful okay perfect it came out careful not to pull for the wires because you can get them out of the connector and you can develop a misfire because a few injector will not be working torque sturdy socket we have one bolt holding the wiring harness in place on this side we'll go ahead do that okay perfect now let's go ahead and see what else we need to do guys okay we have one clip right there holding the wiring harness in place so we can lift it up a little bit okay here we have problem guys okay here we have a okay let's see now but what is this one a clip okay there is a clip right here this one is a clip going in that thing okay came loose on this side as well okay now we have to be extremely careful because this is wiring harness here make sure that okay everything is good everything is loose we what we'll need to do now guys okay we'll, when we remove these bolts okay actually these ones will come out these brackets two brackets will come out and the wiring harness should be able to slide out now grab that cover this is for the variable timing okay right here for vvt solenoid go ahead push down and disconnect that wire too okay just like that great now let's go ahead okay and practically we'll need to remove these bolts here first 
Okay, so we need to remember where the bracket is as well. That's why it's a good thing to watch the video. If you're stuck putting something together, you can always guys see how we took it apart. That way you don't need to wander and spend multiple hours trying to figure something out. Because working on vehicles sometimes, it will do that to you guys. So this one is Tox 40, I believe. Maybe it's a 40. Yep, Tox 40, start looking B. We're going to remove the one on top here for the bracket so we can get a little bit of movement on the wires. Okay, and if you need to buy parts and tools, we'll share the link in the description of the video below. So I'll lift up the wiring harness a little bit. Okay, one is loose, second one now. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead, get those loose. Okay. And one on this side, careful not to drop your bolts. Perfect. Okay, let me see. It's going to come out, but we need to pull the bolts out, guys. Okay, these bolts come out. Check it out. Just like that. Now, careful not to drop them too. Okay, perfect. And that mount, practically. Okay, the only thing holding it now is a vacuum line on the back side. So, let's see if that will be enough room or we need to pull the vacuum line out. And pull it out. Perfect. That is so complicated, guys. Next one, we need to do one on the other side. That vacuum line is for the perch valve. Don't break it. You can get easily called P0441 if that happens. Okay, you can see how tight that valve cover is and it's still leaking just because Okay, practically is out. So let's see how we are going to access this one now guys Okay, there was a clip right here We didn't remove that one actually we should have so another clip that we should have pried and we didn't, so we might have to use a zip tie later to tie everything together. Perfect. Now let's pull the bolts. One, two. This one comes out. Great. Two of them are out. Okay, this towards the back. Let me see, are they exactly identical? No, the front one has the holder for the holes. Otherwise, they're almost the same. But they do differ a little bit. So the wiring harness should be out of the way now. And we can start removing bolts. So, we are now on the bottom of the valve cover. There is another mount, okay, that's holding there. One cable, I think it's going to the oxygen sensor. Well, no, it's not the oxygen sensor. Maybe, yep, yep, it is the oxygen sensor, I think, wire. Next to the wire for the AC compressor. <laughs> That's unbelievable how tight those things are. We have the torque specs and everything, guys. We'll try to find and share with you. All right, perfect. Another bolt, okay. Let's just collect all of them there, so we don't lose them. It's loose on this side. Now, what we need to do, we need to just get that oxygen sensor wire out, out of the way, okay, like that, and we can continue with the next step. We just need to keep removing bolts, guys, and that's where things get really, really, okay, interesting because some bolts are not easy to reach. But you can do it. One is out. Two. Three. Okay, here let me see on the back side. If we have anything, nope. Nothing here, just in the corner. So that's good. <laughs> now, guys right here, Okay, we have a bolt that is located one right here. So I'll push that thing to the side. Let's see. 
Uh, okay, give us just a second to figure out this thing because this is a positive wire coming from the. Okay, this is. I believe this is the positive wire here. So let's see if we can open that wire actually disconnected. But at that point, guys, okay, let me explain something to you. Something very, very important. Uh, before you do the repair, okay, you need to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before the repair. On those vehicles, it really matters which terminal you disconnect first, positive or negative, because guys, okay, you can cause quite a bit of damage to the electrical system. I'll put a link to a video that explains how to access the battery on a Porsche Cayenne, and another link to a video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first. So if you need to do that, guys, go ahead, check it out, watch it, and see. Hopefully, okay, hopefully, it will give you more information, guys. So we're all, all on the back side in the middle, there is one bolt okay we got that one loose now we have one okay you have to see okay we're using a short extension guys okay because it's uh, not reachable there and i don't know how we're going to reach one of them right here to be honest with you i don't know how we're going to reach that one so we're gonna leave it for a little bit Let's see this one here now. So only one of them is super hard to reach, guys. So I believe I'll need to get the small ratchet with the small socket and try to see if I can get to it somehow. Okay, because I don't think I'll be able to get that socket in place or I might need to get an extension with a swivel bar. So let's explain what we did. Okay guys, we got a Torx 40 bit only with a quarter inch wrench. Uh, what is this broken? So we use an extension with a 10 millimeter socket. That's how we were able to reach the last bolt. Okay, right there because it's super, super inconvenient guys. I hope you don't have to mess with that one. Like we did. Sometimes if you have a shorter socket and a thin profile ratchet, you can do that. Great, that's the bolt. Okay, now, we have one more right here that we need to do. Okay, let me see if we can reach that one or we have to do the same thing over and over again. So that's what we'll be doing now. No, nope. not again. So I need to do the same thing like I showed you earlier. So you will witness what I'm doing now. Okay, I'm going to get the Torx 40 now inside, clean the hole, make sure you don't have any dust because we have quite a bit of oil leak i'll hold the wrench here you have to put pressure on the socket so it doesn't come out Came a little bit sideways, I'm scared not to damage the head of the bolt because if I do, I'll not be able to get it out. So if you have some super low profile sockets, ratchets, you might be a little bit better than us. <laughs> it got loose. Did you hear that click? That means it's loose. Now, I'll reposition the wrench. If you have a good quarter inch wrench, your wife will be way easier too. Ours, we had to cut it for a previous job and I just dropped it and it's underneath, but the socket's here. I'm getting this one loose. And I'll just dive in quick to get the wrench and we'll continue. Okay, with the next. Okay, perfect. Let me see if we can reach this one here. Oh. I think we'll be able to. Yeah, good luck, eh? So, so we don't have to do that with a little wrench.
Okay, some of those are so hard to read, guys. So, uh, what I'll do, okay, the hard ones, we'll get them out. Okay, there is one more here, that's by the power steering hose. Careful not to break your hose. That's a common mistake as well. So we're removing that one now, and after that, okay, we should be able, okay, just to have one, uh, two on the back side that I didn't uh, remove. Earlier I got them loose. Let me go ahead and remove them. They're all the way towards the back now. Perfect. Now, I have one right here in the middle that I pre loosened earlier, guys. So I'll go ahead and remove that one now. And we have the ones in the middle of the gasket, the, the ones in the middle of the head. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to get an extension. And after we get the extension, okay, I'm going to remove the ones in the middle between the spark plugs. Okay, I'm talking about those ones right here. Extremely tight bolts, guys, extremely tight. Two, number three now. Okay. So let's get this loose. This one is removed there. Okay, so we just have to pull the bolts out now. We I'll get the pliers. You have to be careful when you pull the valve cover not to break your solenoid here, right? You have to be extremely, extremely careful for that. Perfect. Now get the bolts. One covered with engine oil, guys. All bolt covered with engine oil. Leaking back. There, two, <laughs> and now uh, number three. Perfect. So let me just verify to make sure we don't have more. Everything seems to be removed. Okay. We don't have any more anywhere else. So wiring harness is out. And everything will be stuck now, guys. Everything will be really, really stuck. Okay, because that gasket, that valve cover hasn't been removed since 2006. And we're 2020 now. Almost 2021. So probably by the time the video is uploaded, it will be 2021, guys. So, now, let's go ahead. Okay, we're going to get a screwdriver and there is a place you can pry easily here. I think. No, 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 this one started bending a little bit. So let's see where, okay, we can separate that one. Okay, so listen, now we found a place where you can gently pry with the screwdriver, don't go too much because those are easy to crack, guys. Okay, now, something still not getting loose on top here. Okay, oh, 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 that's good, that's good. Nope, I need to go a little bit on this side now. We need to go with two screwdrivers a little bit. Let me see if I can go underneath this one. What is happening? It's holding here in that gasket for the, uh, this is for the variable timing, guys. And don't do what I did. You just need to grab it with two hands, jiggle it a little bit, not too much. We're going to get a, a cardboard ready so we can pull that valve cover out. Careful not to break your solenoid. And pull that valve cover out, guys. That's on a Cayenne engine with 187,000 miles. Looks like gaskets disintegrated, guys. They fell apart. Check it out. Okay, that's why we have enormous amount of oil leaks. 
and yeah that's super clean engine regular road changes guys we do them on time timing chain everything looks amazing inside i'm surprised 187,000 miles and that engine is running strong really strong so uh, let's go ahead and continue with the next step now so let us show you guys okay how bad now that valve cover gasket is practically it's going to come out in pieces careful not to break your valve cover on the front it's not so bad but where the spark plugs are and stuff it's terrible okay it's completely shot and uh, later when you apply the new one there are two places where you need to apply silicone and this is right here and here that's where the uh, timing cover attaches to the cylinder heads and that's why you have that so just start on one side start pulling it out you can hear the sound that's kind of like plastic okay and it just breaks in pieces to it's not flexible at all you can see it broke another piece so let's go ahead and see with a small screwdriver start it again careful not to damage the canal or anything like that the little piece here needs to come out all right now clean the silicone we have a little bit on the inside later we are going to clean as well perfect came out those practically will come in pieces and we hope they do so we're going to see how we're going to pull those ones out okay you can see it flies it has zero flexibility I mean zero if I hit it it just breaks okay it's so so stuck okay more now this little guy here came out you can see that's one old old terrible gasket okay i almost got it perfect that's so bad cannot believe it it was leaking really bad you can see but not as bad as it should for being so practically falling apart okay perfect let's turn it around okay and try to get cylinder number one spark plug here so we can grab it nice that's crazy guys okay started moving a little bit okay now you need to get a uh, this is the gasket for the vvt solenoid right here we'll need to replace that one as well okay let's see what ours looks like okay before we continue the new one that's what it looks like so you just need to push it out i think i think all you have to do just it just pushes from in to out careful not to break your gasket so i think the only thing that you need to do is practically that's like a push in type all you have to do probably just push it out let me see yep it's the whole gasket until where it stops okay right there on the inside it goes in one canal so let us see okay how it comes apart and we're going to figure it out so let's see how we're going to take it out guys that's crazy all 
we just need to find out how we can okay get that piece out because it's stuck really bad and I mean really really bad so we got the screwdriver through that hole careful not to push down just kind of like sideways if it's really really stuck guys you need to okay don't pry on the sides we're trying to get it out so we need to hammer a little bit more here okay to kind of like bend it guys so without breaking anything hopefully okay careful not to break the lip here so we need to grab it with the pliers and try to maybe uh, pull, pull it towards okay the inside it started moving let's see okay because that thing is metal on top so we will not be able to just uh, pull it out so let's see if we can go ahead and pull it out somehow maybe get get the screwdriver now on this side and hammer in again okay the same way we did earlier one more spot so it can compress a little bit okay and fall out and we didn't break ours our valve cover so we're lucky guys but yeah that thing turn not into plastic that's kind of like i don't know like so burnt that it was stuck to the valve cover guys from all that heat okay and you know being out as well clean all the silicone that you have on the inside in the canal as well now we need to clean the canal really good uh rubbing alcohol works really good on a rack go ahead clean the canal make sure you don't have uh, any oil at all and we'll be ready for the new gasket so you can see alcohol like that clean everything really good careful not to damage your canal by the way just with a thin rack thin screwdriver you can do that clean it good okay to make sure you don't have any engine oil uh, what i can actually even do let me let me see if i can do it if i put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in the canal okay so it can eat it and later we can just come out okay so it can eat all that old oil and we're just going to come out okay and see what will come out that way guys we want to make sure we clean everything good everything comes out clean because we don't want to do the job again right because you don't want to do that same thing and you can see how it cleans it's amazing that rubbing alcohol eats the uh, eats the engine oil and makes it really clean so that's what we will do to the whole gasket uh, to the whole valve cover and we'll continue make sure you do the same thing around the spark plugs and those little bitty holes in the middle as well so we're wiping everything guys and we're ready to install the new gasket now we'll show you okay uh, where okay where the gasket goes so let's go ahead okay here we have a little bit of a rack so we need to get that thing out okay make sure your canal is exactly clean guys if it's not that's grease that made itself inside i'm still scanning one time to make sure everything's good uh, because i don't want to we don't want to do that job again guys it's terrible okay practically terrible so that little bitty hole we need to clean for that bolt here oh that's uh, excuse me that's not the bolt that's a pcv that's the oil oh the other way let's see how it goes oil separator valve so this one okay how it's gonna go okay like that perfect okay and you just start feeding it you can see how much thicker it is it's probably okay you can see how much it's sticking out of the valve cover and that's going to make everything nice 
and sealed you have two teeth that need to go here on the front so it doesn't come out the same thing on the other one, camshaft kind of like okay this one is not in okay now it's in you need to work all of them kind of at the same time guys okay and once you position everything inside you need to go ahead recheck everything push it in again make sure you don't have loose spots or anything like that make sure you install the one in the middle for the spark plugs not forget those because that will be catastrophic always replace the whole kit not just one at a time so this will be for the driver's side valve cover gasket replacement if you want to see the passenger we'll make another separate video because it's going to take too long guys to do both of them so we'll demonstrate on the passenger side in another video it will be called passenger side valve cover gasket replacement on Porsche Cayenne now these ones okay we started the spark plugs go to the next one just go ahead push it in uh, the silicone most of the gaskets will come with silicone if it doesn't i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from uh, gray high temp silicone is uh, amazing uh, we like that stuff it works uh, really really good and we're going to apply okay small amount you need to uh, clean your cylinder head really good make sure you don't have any engine oil leaking out anything like that and uh, the places where you need to apply silicone as you can see where the timing cover meets the uh, cylinder head okay right here a little bit of silicone a little bit here put it together close it guys and uh, you'll be ready to go from that on, uh, from that point on everything is in reverse order we took it apart if you want to see the torque specs i'll make a special video for that torque specs valve cover on porsche cayenne check it out Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.